Do you still need an antivirus in 2021? For years, an essential piece of software for desktop users has always been an antivirus. Because of all the scary hacks in the past that has affected thousands of users, you can expect them to want one. This makes the market for antivirus programs quite large because if you have a large base of users who are scared they're going to get a virus because of all these events, they're going to want to choose the best of the best, which is most likely going to be the paid ones. But these programs can be sometimes very intrusive, and most antivirus programs are just simply viruses in disguise that take advantage of you because of your false sense of security to spy on you, serve ads to you, or steal personal information. Most people don't need to pay for an antivirus because they already pay over $100 for a Windows subscription, which is honestly not worth the money. So you can rest easy knowing that if you have Windows 10 or probably future versions of Windows, you already have an antivirus installed for you. And not just any antivirus, but one that comes with stuff like network and firewall protection and some other miscellaneous stuff which honestly just makes it look good on a page. This antivirus program is called Windows Defender and it's built into the operating system so you can rest easy knowing that you don't really need to buy anything. If you see, if you see this and feel like you're getting ripped off, uh, Trust me, you probably are, because a lot of the time these antivirus programs, once again, are very intrusive, but they also take up a lot of performance in the background. And for gamers, you should be even more ashamed because antivirus programs, once again, are taking up that extra performance. And when you're playing your favorite game, you want your frame rates to be as high as possible. And with an antivirus program in the background, you might not be getting that. Businesses, on the other hand, might want an antivirus, but not the ones are going to be just antivirus programs because a lot of the antivirus programs that businesses install are going to be ones that allow more control over the computer at a distance so let's say that a worker is at home with his laptop and it has a virus IT can help and take care of that situation remotely but if you lose Linux you can be glad knowing that if you chose the right distro and follow the right security practices, such as not downloading software from anywhere but the regular repository, you can rest easy knowing that your computer is secure without having to worry about antivirus scans. That's enough for this video. Hope you enjoyed. This is Matt Madness. I'll be running Windows and a virtual machine.